Hello everyone, welcome to the Jcast Network. I'm your host, Arun Herman. We're here at Chabad's Children of Chernobyl event in New York City. This organization helps hundreds of thousands of children in Chernobyl. Let's take a closer look. So tell us how you got involved in the organization. I took a trip to Israel and somebody wanted to meet Yossi Rachik. I went there, I saw the kids, and that was it. I mean, yeah. And obviously when you see the impact, that makes the biggest difference. What, ins what inspired you? Everything. The mission, the kids, what they were doing there. Uh, it's tested in the best possible way. Uh, it was, it is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm on five boards, mostly business, but nothing like this. And we would talk a little bit about the next generation, people giving back. What are your thoughts about the importance? Look around the room and see our young leadership group, see what people are doing to give back. And they're giving back big time. Look around the room. You know? We have a very strong young leadership group that are out there working, bringing other people in and seeing what we're doing. And the best thing about this, too, is you don't have to be Jewish to do this. And we've gotten a lot of people involved that just realize what an unbelievable mission and cause this is. There are a lot of people who want to give back. They want to make a difference. Why did you get involved? Well, um, I am. Uh, I born in uh, Belarus. My city that I born uh, was the closest to Chernobyl, actually. So there is a connection already. You know? So uh, I was there in Soviet Union during the Chernobyl catastrophe, and uh, now I'm here. You know, so I want to be involved and uh, want to donate my time, uh, something, you know, for the cause. Now, Sadak charity, Sadaka, is important. Why is it important for younger people to get involved? Well, you know, Tzedakah, it's, it's not just important for young people, uh, for old people. It's actually a, a very, one of the, one of the foundation of all Judaism, Tzedakah, you know. It's a, it's a charity, but it's also a charity and a justice together, you know. Um, and uh, it's something, uh, it's something, no matter what, you, you, you are uh, connected to uh, Jewish people or not. You know, it's, it's something keeps you... Uh, Keeps me motivated and, and, and makes me uh, makes me more of a, you know I want to give back somehow. You know? So this is a really wonderful event, um, and I'll talk a little bit about impact. You've been involved in this organization for for a while, long time. And tell us a little bit about why you got involved. Originally, I was from Israel, and I met a group of children that had just been evacuated from the war, and they really knew what most people knew about this terrible disaster, but not in depth. And I didn't see anybody that was impacted by it. And we're in the United States, and this is the other side of the globe. So sometimes that, you know, when you're removed from it, it doesn't hit you the same way. But when I saw some of these kids at Farquhar, many of them were pale and small, and, but we noticed they were all playing with one bicycle, taking turns with one bike, and we were sort of touched by that sharing, and we said, oh, that's so cute, and maybe we'll buy these cute bicycles, that would be a donation, and the rabbi said, this is a very special gift, that these children just came out from the devastated region, and many of them are, you know, have uh, thyroid cancer, leukemia, they've lost parents, and we started to learn, and I think that put us on the road. We decided that they were literally running door to door to raise money to evacuate flights on an emergency basis. They had no fundraising, you know, tools set up that were continued funding. So we helped to establish the U.S. office. The, uh, I would say the beers moved into the budget <laughs> office. I came in and there's all these like little objects sitting right. there. But these guys go and get stuff done. And we started to help them organize events. And my brother was helping us in the beginning. My brother and I and Shem and my husband were my own spirit and my sisters. So the first event sort of had a celebrity touch to it because you know you put that Spielberg thing, the S bomb we call it, and um, people listen. You know, so it started like that and I think the momentum continued that became a celebrity. 
celebrity endorsed event, um, a cool auction, uh, auction items that you can't just buy in the store, whether it's celebrity experiences, you know, like whether it's only a day on the same dress as far as or lunch with Billy Crystal. So we just started like that. And that they do to raise money so that this th this uh, work can be done is a, a miracle. This is God's work here. So what does charity mean to you? Uh, charity is something that comes from uh, deep from your heart and uh, we all have to help uh, people, especially kids. And um, I think helping them will benefit us and will benefit our generation. As you can see, Chabad Children of Chernobyl is helping hundreds of thousands of children in Chernobyl. This is Aaron Herman, and thanks for watching.